Hello everyone. Today's lecture is on the topic which is included in the chapter of microbial analysis of milk. The main objectives of this lecture is to understand about risazurine reduction test and to study standard plate count or total bacterial count. First, risazurine reduction test which is also called as RRT. Milk is a good cultural medium for the growth of microorganism as milk contain all essential nutrients which are required for the growth of the microorganism due to which a variety of microorganisms can be found in raw milk as well as in pasteurized milk if the pasteurized milk is not properly preserved after the pasteurization process these microorganisms which are present in milk and milk products during their growth they utilize the oxygen and which results in reduction of the oxidation reduction potential of the sample due to the exhaustion of oxygen the milk is generally contaminated with different microorganism which includes particularly staphylococcus aureus streptococcus pyogenes pseudomonas aeruginosa enterobacter species of bacillus and many more the main reason for the contamination is the improper handling of milk normally milk is contaminated during milking process by the microorganisms which are present in the exterior surface of the animals as well as the microorganisms which are present in the pipeline such as udder and adjacent areas the use of unsterilized dairy utensils during the process of milking may be act as a good source of contamination which can add microorganisms in milk risazurine reduction test that is rrt is the another example of dye reduction test and the principle of this test is similar with that of mbrt test that is methylene blue reduction time test in mbrt test the time which is required for the reduction of methylene blue by the microorganism is measured while in risazurine reduction test at a fixed period of time specific shade of color and its intensity is measured so in mbrt test the time which is required for the reduction of methylene blue is variable which depends upon the number of microorganisms which are present in the milk that means it depends upon the quality of the milk but in rrt test a fixed period of time is used and after that period of time the color change in the risazurine indicator is major there are two variations in rrt of testing of milk 
this variation is based upon the time of incubation which is used in this test one is 10 minute rrt test which can be used as a rapid platform test for quick assessment of milk at the raw milk reception dock while the second or other one is one hour rrt perform in the lab to judge the quality of milk principle of rrt unlike methylene blue the risazurine undergoes reduction through a series of color shape risazurine is a redox indicator whose color changes after its reduction and the color change is from blue to purple and lavender to pink and after complete reduction of risazurine it appear as a colorless when the redox potential of milk is near about 0.3 volts then the color of the risazurine is appears as a blue color but when this risazurine dark is get reduced when the redox potential is reduced from 0.3 volts to 0.2 volts then there will be irreversible change in the color of risazurine from blue to pink and this pink color compound is called as a risorufin further reduction in redox potential to 0.1 volt or less which will again result in change in the color of risazurine from pink to colorless which is a reversible change and this colorless compound which is produced is known as a dihydrorisorufin usually the degree of reduction of the dye is measured after a fixed time of incubation of milk sample in the presence of dye the reduction of dye to a particular shade of color is depend upon the extent of depletion of oxygen due to the metabolic activities of microorganisms which are present in milk the change in the color is measured with the help of lowy bond color comparator or by using standard risazurine disc procedure of rrt in a test tube take 10 ml of milk and in that 10 ml add 1 ml of working solution of risazurine whose concentration should be 1 as to 20000 after addition then put airtight closer to the tube to prevent the entry of oxygen in tube then invert the test tube to mix the milk with risazurine solution place the test tube then in a thermostatically maintained water bath at 37 degrees celsius and note down the time of incubation which may be either 10 minute or one hour at the end of incubation then compare the color of test tube with standard disc until the colors are matched under comparator 
and then record the number of disk or color of disk depending upon the color which is appeared after incubation we can judge the quality of milk for example if the color of the test tube after incubation it appears as a white that means the color of the resazurin changes from blue to white then the quality of the milk will be of very bad if the color of tube which is match with a disk number 1 whose color should be pink then the quality of the milk will be bad if it matches with disk number 2 having a color of mau pink then the quality of milk will be of poor if it matches with disk number 3 having a color of pink mau then that will be of fair quality milk if the tube is matches with disk number 4 having mau color then the quality of milk will be good and if the tube color is matches with disk number 5 that is lila then the quality of the milk will be very good and after incubation if there will be no change in the color that means that tube will match with six number then bacterial quality of milk will be excellent next is grading of milk based on rrt as per bureau of indian standards if the color of the tube after incubation is matches with a disk number 4 or higher that is 4 5 6 6 then that milk will be of good quality if color will match with a disk number 3 to 1 3 2 1 then fair quality milk and if the color is matches with below that is with disk number 0 then that milk will be of poor quality so rrt test is the example of dye reduction test which can be used to judge the quality of milk next is advantages of rrt the first advantage includes rrt test helps to understand about the stage of reduction which can be measured in shorter time and it is also used as a screening test for mastitis mastitis is a udder infection which is caused particularly by streptococcus next to rrt is microbial analysis of milk various microbiological tests can be used in dairy industry and this test can be broadly categorized into a different groups which include first direct enumeration of total bacterial count which is also known as a direct microscopic count this method helps in determining the number of viable as well as non viable bacteria which are present in the sample the second method includes 
estimation of number of only viable bacterial cells which are present in the sample which is called as a standard plate count. Next method includes assessing the microbial metabolic activities for example dye reduction test. Then detection of specific contaminants for example coliforms the presence of pathogens in the sample and the estimation of biochemical changes or metabolites which are formed in different dairy products as a result of microbial growth. These biochemical changes may include the production of acid production of gas or production of toxins by pathogenic microorganisms which are present in dairy products. Next will be the methods for enumerating the bacterial population which include first agar plate method, direct microscopic method. The difference between these two methods, agar plate method is used for determining only viable bacterial cells which are present in the sample while with the help of direct microscopic method both viable as well as non-viable cells can be estimated. Next method which is used for the enumeration of bacterial population includes dye reduction test. For example, MBRT test that is methylene blue reduction time test and RRT that is resazuri reduction test and MPN for detection of the coliforms which are present in the sample. Next is standard plate count which is also called as a total viable count or it is also called as a agar plate method. So this method is called as a total viable count which indicates that this method helps in estimation of only viable cells which are present in sample. Standard plate count or poor plate method is used for estimating the number of viable microorganisms which are present in milk and milk products. Due to presence of wide range of bacterial population in dairy products, their number can be determined only after making the appropriate dilutions of the samples. As the sample may contain large number of microorganisms. So aseptically inoculate 1 ml of milk sample into sterile milk agar butt from the tube containing specific dilution of milk. Then shake the tube and pour the content of the butt into sterile petri plate immediately. After pouring then allow to solidify the medium and incubate the petri plate in an incubator for appropriate time and temperature. After 24 hours of incubation, then observe the colonies and calculate their number and record the results in terms of CFU that is colony forming unit. And to calculate the total viable count, multiply the number of colonies with dilution factor.
depending upon the number of organisms which are present in the sample milk can be graded into four qualities if the number of organisms which are present in the sample is less than 2 lakh per ml then that milk will be of very good quality if the number of organism is in between 2 lakh to 10 lakh per ml then that milk is of good quality if the number of organism is more that is in between 10 to 50 lakh per ml then that will be of fair quality of milk and the quality of milk will be poor if that milk contain greater than 50 lakh of organisms per ml advantages of total viable count or standard plate count with the help of this method only viable microorganisms number can be determined different counts can also be determined the cultural and morphological differentiation based on colony characters is possible and this method is suitable for determination of quality of milk samples with low bacterial numbers that is pasteurized milk and high grade raw milk after advantages next is disadvantages this method gives only a rough estimate of microbial population in the given sample hence this method is not very accurate this method requires complex standardization condition for specific counts it is time consuming and laborious it requires huge quantities of glassware it is not a rapid method as at least 24 hours are required to get the colonies of bacteria which are present in the sample this method does not give accurate count as the standard plate count medium is not suitable for the growth of all types of bacteria present in milk the temperature of incubation which is used during this test may not be the optimum for the growth of all types of bacteria the amount of sample taken may not be the representative of the whole lot pathogenic organisms are not detected because for the growth of these organisms they require a specific medium specific information regarding the type of microflora is not obtained and lastly references thank you